This is Bob Prunetti, and you're on Mid Jersey Live. So this is one of our first shows, and what we wanted to talk about today is something that's very, very important to our community, and that is small business. At the Mid Jersey Chamber of Commerce, about 80% of all of our members are small business people. And so we wanted to bring that to all of our watchers and listeners out there and have a guest with us today who is a small business owner, Jill Ryan. She owns a... Uh, uh, a small. I'm going to let her talk about her business, and then we're going to talk more about why it's important to support small business and what a role they play in our in our economy. So, Jill, why don't you tell us a little bit about your business? Um, our business is a one call repairs at all service for your residence or your business. It's called Ryan's Commercial Maintenance. We, we do maintenance and repairs on really any types of spaces. We've done restaurants. We've done doctors' offices. We are in many residents um, of business owners. We get in there as well. And we pretty much can do everything and anything that other people generally don't want to get involved with. So, Jill, let me ask you a question. Do you do, you do um, I know you do commercial, but yes. you, do, you, do you do residential as well? We do residential. We don't necessarily advertise residential just because it's a different clientele, but we end up in residents from business owners that obviously have houses, from people that have rental properties, and then we do sometimes get phone calls. We will not turn anybody away. Okay, so then, if as it usually is at my house, I can't fix anything. So, so if I got a door that's off its shingles, if I got a problem with a window, Absolutely whatever anything. the case may be, we go we into call places with you lists, to, and literally we just go down the list. We pretty much take care of everything. Uh, one thing that we make sure that we do is when we purchase materials for a job, it would be the same way as you going in and purchasing them. There are no upcharges. But when we get discounts on materials and things, we also pass that along to the homeowners as well. So it does offer quite a savings if, if we get materials as opposed to you. I can tell you this is terrific. You know, I know everybody out there is glad to hear that. They know where to go when they have to fix a shingle. But I, for me, personally, that's really good to know because my wife's always on me about fixing stuff. So, But we're here to talk about small business, and Jill is a small business. And, you know, this is the holiday season. So we want to make sure that we get the word out there to try to support your small businesses as much as you can. We're buying a lot of gifts, a lot of services, a lot of things going on. And we want to make sure that, uh, you know, our small businesses are noticed because it's so easy to go online, to go to a big box or something like that. Not that that isn't part of our economy, it is, but it's the small businesses that keep this community going the way it does, you know. So, um, Joe, just through some of your experiences, I know you're very much involved uh, with the Mid-Jersey Chamber of yes. Commerce. You do an awful lot with us. Uh, from your perspective, why is it important for people, not, not just because of your business, but why is it important for people to kind of support small businesses in the Mid-Jersey area? Well, from the short time that I have been in business, because it's been about a year and a half now, the one thing that I've truly learned is that it's, it's almost like a circle of life. It's how communities thrive. So if you have uh, your residents supporting your local business, and then you have local businesses supporting each other, it just comes around, goes around. We end up giving a lot back to the community as a group of businesses. Um, you also share resources and money to say. I mean, there are a lot of things that as a group of businesses you can afford to do that you couldn't afford to do on your own as a single business. And a lot of that ends up going back to the community and the events that you do in the charities and the fundraisers. So pulling it all together just kind of comes full circle where it's how communities thrive is by supporting local business. You know, and some of the things that people don't know, small businesses account for 54% of all sales in the United States. So it's a big part of our economy, and we want to keep them going. It's, it's important to us, as Jill said, and, and we see it here at the Chamber and in other community organizations that I'm involved with, it's always the small businesses that are there. Uh, sometimes in big ways, but in so many small ways. They're either there to volunteer, they're there supporting little leagues, they're there supporting local Absolutely. church organizations, they're there supporting whatever's going on in the community that's important to us. It's always small businesses that are there supporting it. So that's why we need to want you to forget in this holiday season to keep our small businesses uh, in mind. Um, so, Jill, is there anything else that, any other perspective, anything else you, you want to let people know about either what you do or why it's important well, to support small one businesses? one of the things that I got involved with uh, fairly quickly was um, a local group, Shop Hamilton. 
And Shop Hamilton actually is a member of the Chamber, and the Chamber is a member of Shop Hamilton. So we're very intertwined where we promote you guys, you're helping promote the, the Shop Hamilton. But one thing we did recently, we came up with a brochure, and that brochure is pretty much every business that has joined Shop Hamilton, and we've teamed up with the local hotels. And the brochures are going into their welcome packets because 40% of the people staying are relocating to the area. So that's helping greatly. Many of the businesses have already seen um, improvement in traffic flow because of the brochures going to the hotels. And we're about to expand that even further into two more local Hamilton hotels so that we're helping the community. And then people want to move here as well because they're seeing all the services and they're seeing what the environment has to offer. So that's something that um, I really have gotten involved with. And it's great that we intertwine because you see a lot of the same people at the events that we do for Shop Hamilton as we do at the Mid Jersey Chamber. You know, the other thing that I want to mention is that uh, small businesses employ a tremendous number of people. In fact, they employ most of the people in a lot of local communities uh, in very many different ways, you know. And we count small businesses differently, you know, the U.S. Chamber of Commerce uh, counts them one way, the U.S. Uh, Department of Commerce counts them another way. But nevertheless, uh, they are your, you know, local retailers, they're your local uh, shop, they're your services like Jill performs, uh, and, and they employ so many people. So again, uh, we should keep that in mind because our communities really do thrive on the uh, employment base of small businesses. And when they're employing people, they're then spending dollars in other businesses. So again, that's something to, to keep in mind. So um, we are happy that you joined us today. We're happy that we're able to talk about our small businesses. We hope you'll tune in again because we're going to be talking about different topics as we go along each time we do one of these Mid-Jersey Lives. And so we hope uh, these topics are of interest to you. Let us know. Give us your feedback. We're, uh, we're going to be seeing you very, very soon.